Happy New Year and welcome to the January 2nd, 2024 inauguration ceremony for the City of Northampton. I am City Council President and Ward 3 City Councilor Jim Nash for a few more minutes. <laughs> and for a few more minutes, I am Karen Foster, the City Council Vice President. Actually, I'm still going to be Karen Foster yes, for more than two more minutes. But I'm the City Council Vice President and the Ward 2 City Councilor. And Jim and I will be presiding over this event. Today, we bear witness as our elected officials take the oath of office for... We have school committee, city council, trustees of Smith Vocational and Agricultural High School, trustees under the will of e. Charles E. Forbes, elector under the Oliver Smith will, and the Community Preservation Committee. The next line is a bold gym, so I'm not going to take it. <laughs> uh, we would like to acknowledge elected officials and department heads in the room today. If you could please stand when we say your name. We have Mayor Gina Louise Shera. Our city councilor Jamila Gore, <laughs> Senator Joe Comerford, <laughs> Representative Lindsay Sabadosa, <laughs> Sheriff Pat Kaling, <laughs> Superintendent Dr. Portia Bonner, <laughs> Police Chief John Cartledge. Planning and Sustainability Director, Carolyn Nish. <laughs> Parks and Recreation Director, Anne-Marie Moggio. <laughs> From the Mayor's Office, we have Chief of Staff, Alan Wolf. <laughs> Amy Esco and Sydney Fahey. We also want to do a special thank you to Laura Crutzler, the Administrative Assistant for Council, who helped organize this event today. Uh, we also want to uh, thank Pam, uh, City Clerk Pam Powers, who's going to be swearing people in today. Uh, Steve Connors, uh, Rabbi Jacob Fine, in Andrea Avazian. And also thank you to Kim Park, the Director of Senior Services, for all of her work to make this event possible here at the Senior Center today, the Senior Center staff, and Northampton Open Media for recording and televising. We are so fortunate here in Northampton to have these people in front of you willing to take an oath of office to serve our community. Some today are taking this oath for the first time. Called to serve, they put their thoughts and ideas to the voters of Northampton. They garnered the votes to hold office, and they are here today ready to serve. Some taking the oath of office today have chosen to continue serving for another term in their elected role, bringing their needed experience and insight to their work for our city. Some taking the oath of office today will be transitioning from one duty to another, from a ward seat to an at-large seat, bringing their, or in Karen's case, from city council to school committee. And some of us will not be taking the oath of office today, but will instead be bearing witness to the peaceful transition of power. At first glance, this event may appear perfunctory. Some pomp, some expressions of patriotism and faith, coupled with coffee, tea, and Danish. And beignets. However, in this very room where the votes are cast, 
We are witness in the peaceful revolution because we as residents of Northampton have faith in our democratic process. We believe that our election workers dutifully oversee free and fair elections. We trust our city clerk and all of our election staff to faithfully report the results, and we in this room honor those results. The straightforward counting of ballots to determine who will be in this room today to take the oath of office. So don't let the calm in this room fool you. <laughs> and now we uh, call, now we get to the ceremony itself. Um, let's call up Director of Central Hampshire Veterans Services, Steve Connor, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you very much. Everybody who's able to stand, please stand. Face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And to deliver the invocation, we now welcome Rabbi Jacob Fine of Congregation B'nai Israel. <coughs> On this beautiful, crisp, and sunny morning, the year's beginning, Help us, source of all life, to find warmth in the presence of one another. Before our esteemed public ser servants accept their weighty oath of office, let us all take a moment to fully arrive, to take a collective breath as we mark this auspicious moment in the life of our, of our beloved city. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Listen and hear, people Israel, Adonai, source of life, who is one. The Shema is the most famous Jewish prayer, a statement of witness that all Jews know to recite, starting when we are young children, reciting it at bedtime. The word Shema means to listen, to pay attention. A statement of witness and in reciting the Shema, we are in fact speaking to ourselves, gently reminding ourselves to open our hearts, to be present, and to listen. When we truly listen, when we are present in heart and body, we bear witness to the profound oneness that connects us all. In the days and months ahead, listen to one another. Truly listen to your colleagues with kindness, generosity, and curiosity. Open yourself to ideas and notions that you yourself did not generate and you may not initially understand. Listen to all the people of our special city. Pay special attention and lean in to listen to those individuals whose voices are quieter, who may, for so many different reasons, find it more difficult to raise their voices. And be courageous to truly listen to those people who frustrate you and with whom you disagree. Listen to the earth, our sacred home that due to our hubris and our greed, we're making less and less inhabitable with each passing day. Pay attention to the water and the air, to the butterflies and the birds, the bears and the brook trout, who also share this place with us and who depend on us for their well-being. And most of all, listen to your own hearts. Wake up each day with gratitude for the miracle of your life and take a few moments each day to remember why you chose to serve our community. Makor HaChaim, source of life, bless these humble and sincere public servants with health of body, mind, and soul and help them to listen with open hearts, with courage, and with generous spirits for the benefit of all beings. Amen.
Thank you, Rabbi. At this time, I ask Karen to join her colleagues on school committee. And I welcome forward City Clerk Pam Powers to administer the oath of office. I want to give a brief unicorn alert that um, at one point we will swear in school committee and then city council, but for a moment in time, Karen Foster will be on both council and school committee. I'd like to ask the members of the school committee to please rise. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to make a statement and where when I say insert your name, please state your name and um, repeat after me. I, please state your name. I, I can I do solemnly affirm. To faithfully and impartially, to faithfully and impartially, discharge and perform, discharge and perform the duties incumbent upon me, the duties incumbent upon me, as an elected member of the school committee, as an elected member of the school committee, according to the best of my knowledge and abilities, according to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. The laws of this Commonwealth. The laws of this Commonwealth. The Charter of Northampton. The Charter of Northampton. And the rules, laws, and ordinances of the City of Northampton. And the rules, laws, and ordinances of the City of Northampton. Congratulations. Thank you. Constitution. 
the laws of this commonwealth, the laws, the laws of, of this commonwealth. commonwealth, the charter of Northampton, the charter of Northampton, and the rules, laws, and ordinances of the city of Northampton, and the rules, laws, and ordinances of the city of Northampton. Congratulations. Smith will. <laughs> I, please state your names. I, Mimi Mary Rogers. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties incumbent upon me. The duties incumbent upon me. As elector under the Oliver Smith will. As elector under the Oliver Smith will. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. Agreeably to the rules and regulations, regulations of the Constitution. The laws of this Commonwealth. The laws of this Commonwealth. The Charter of Northampton. The Charter of Northampton. And the rules, laws, and ordinances. And the rules, laws, and ordinances of the City of Northampton. Of the City of Northampton. Preservation Committee. Uh, Emily Poppin has already been sworn in, so I'm just doing you. I, please state your name. I, Christopher Allen. Do solemnly <coughs> affirm. Do solemnly affirm. To faithfully and impartially. Faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties incumbent upon me. The duties incumbent upon me. As an elected member of the Community Preservation Committee. Elected member of the Community Preservation Committee. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. The laws of this Commonwealth. The laws of this Commonwealth. The Charter of Northampton. The Charter of Northampton. And the rules, laws, and ordinances. The rules, laws, and ordinances. Of the City of Northampton. The City of Northampton. Congratulations. So there it is, right before your eyes. A peaceful transition of, of power has occurred. Our government has evolved and renewed itself. Let's have a round of applause for our newly sworn elected officials. And I just want to acknowledge that I started this meeting as a city councilor, and now I'm just Jim Nash of Montview Avenue. <laughs> and I'm very happy with that. To conclude our ceremony today, Reverend Andrea Avazian will deliver the benediction.
Good morning, my siblings. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning to you all. A closing benediction. Go from this place filled with gratitude that there are fine and strong individuals in our community willing to lead in this beautiful but broken world. Go from this place knowing that you cannot be righteous every minute of every day, but that should not prevent you from trying. Go from this place knowing that when you are wrestling with an ethical issue or a thorny decision, divine messages may arrive in the night when you cannot sleep. <laughs> Go from this place remembering the words of author Margaret Wheatley, who writes, whatever the problem, community is the answer. Go from this place recognizing that we can both push and protect our community leaders. Go from this place believing the words in the book of Genesis, you were made in the image of God. Go from this place inspired by the goodness that you have witnessed here today, the willingness to serve evident in these radiant faces, and the hope we now feel for a bright future in a city we love. Go from this place knowing that when we pull together miracles, small and large may appear. Go now, strengthened, encouraged, and empowered to make change and good trouble in this, our beloved community. Go now, in peace. Amen. That concludes our program. Um, before you go, do get some coffee in Danish, and thank you for being here today. <laughs>